So this is one bedroom. This is the other bedroom. Then we have the bathroom. Old style. Then we have the living room. Then we got the sunroom. And all kinds of cool stuff like this. <clears throat> These plums are enormous. They're like the size of apples, look at that. Oh man. It's crazy, I wonder what kind they are. They're the New Zealand Gigantus Plum. Gigantic, gigantatory. Everything is like 1800 something and it's like British or like English. And it has come down from, you know, European like, antiques it's just really cool huh this is the most what interesting house I think I've really ever been in oh yeah yeah it's just really neat like they have incredibly like well appointed like well settled English kind of cottage style garden hmm. just like super cool like unique New Zealand-esque European style uh, antiques and you just see it's really cool I like it huh Beautiful. Don't forget, Jason. Wait, wait, wait. Start. Okay, Jason, you gotta remember to stop and just you know, stop and smell the roses occasionally. <laughs> and just stop and smell the roses, bud. <laughs> That's some interesting plants here, too. Like, I, mean, I don't know. Here on the uh, 25th of April, uh -huh. and uh, four to six hundred people turn up. Wow! And uh, they have a we have a padre and we lay okay. And the road here was up and down, and you know was, you you struggled. To, well, you couldn't drive down it. Oh wow! Yeah. So this has all been rebuilt. This is what I mean. You know, there's there's nothing to see. That's that's the trouble. Everything's right? brand new. Yeah. 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 Uh, a lot of the houses all around here, you know, they all. Is that a garden? You know, they were like that, they were hanging out over, you know, because everything fell out underneath them. Yeah. I'll just go down a bit and get, give you a bit better view. Oh, okay. This was the, the primary school here, this was Redcliffe School. See that blue gum tree there, see the rock behind it, see how it's coming down like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? That's all from there, There's a, there was a really good picture. Oh, I see. Um, somebody saying. was up flying when it happened, when the earthquake happened. Oh. oh. The February one. Yeah. And there's, they're out you know up over the city and looking back this way and there's dust coming up here and dust coming up from Sumner or Whitewash Head where all the cliff fell away there yeah so this this view of, of red cliffs and you know from up in the air looking down and these huge great columns of dust come up and oh. I mean you know you look at it and you go that you know no one was blowing up things at that time yeah or like that. Like it was like yeah, 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 yeah in the exact so, yeah, same place at yeah, the exact yeah. same time and so it was all these rock faces falling off and it came down, and why they they've shifted the the school down to there because they oh they can't par paranoid yeah well <laughs> it's like you said you get to school uh, and yeah. well, it's, you know a mountain's gonna fall on them well <laughs> it's already fallen it's already yeah. gone to there if they want true. to put a bun wall along the back that's true you know see if it falls it's not going to come down through the school again yeah. but they've built it over there yeah and down there in the park where it is 
is almost at sea level. Okay, so, so yeah, it's what gonna happens slough if we're going to get yeah, that liquefaction or yeah, liquefaction. A, you know a tsunami? You're going to yeah. have to beat your feet and get the hell back up to here. So why didn't we have it here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a clue. The Minister of Education at the time was a female. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a Sheila. <laughs> this sort of stuff was, yeah. was everywhere, you know, that was a bus stop. This is a um, yacht club I used to belong to. Um, where that yacht is there with the red sail cover, that was my old mooring there. I used to come yeah. around and bring the boats up here and then you could come up on the slipway here. Yeah. On here, and that where that cradle is, that cross there. Okay, yeah. You come up on there, and that's where you used to work. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you get, get your. Uh, yeah, we had two of them there. Well, that's that's pretty nice. Could you, I mean, you paid to do that, I'm sure. Like, the, was it pretty expensive? Um, I don't know. <laughs> can't remember now. Hundred and a couple hundred dollars for five or six weeks. Oh wow, <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Well, it's a thousand dollars a haul. So what? Now that's one of the volcanoes, and that's oh. the other one there. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh. So when we were coming back up, up here, yeah, and we were looking across there, oh, so that's what it. you could see the sloping down of yeah. the. And there's, there's, you know, sparse um, population. Then you get out here, and there's, there's nothing. Um, a canes, there's uh, camping ground and whatnot there, but mm -hmm. you know. Is uh, the maximum they paid out for. So if your house was totaled in the first event, then they would pay out a hundred thousand. Um, but we had, well, we put five different claims in. Oh wow! Uh, because of the any damage that was done. You, yeah. You, we got two lots of. What is this place? Littleton Bay. Oh, Littleton Harbour. Littleton Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Got good standing posts and a working quarry, which what are they uh, what are they quarrying out of there? Just rock. For um yeah, aggregate. Got a grader working. They look like they're just quarrying. I wonder <laughs> Well no, they've got a they've got a grader and a sorter. And that rock is like See the dump truck over there in the, in the middle of the distance. Uh -huh. that, that can't see all the way down here. Tender in Alaska, you're gonna have to Hydraulic operator, my crane right, operator. Right. That'll do. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Give me a call, I'll come over. Alright, cool. Yeah. We'll go up three months, go yeah. scout Prince William Sound and haul fish. <laughs> There's a swallow, I don't know if you notice that yeah, little bird so down there. I'll get them around the place. And fantails is another really nice little bird. They've got a, you know, a fan, yeah. fantail. We saw a couple the other day, they're kind of like, level. it's like white yes, and they like yeah, stick it in the yep. air. And that's it. Yeah, and they're actually, real cool. They'll come right into you, you know. Yeah. They, Nice little bird, but I've sailed, buggered around in the little harbour since I was six weeks old. Oh wow, well, so you have a lot of experience around here. That's yeah, yeah, I know the place pretty well. Yeah. This is super cool. I that, would that, uh, that's diving. River Island over there, that was a fortress. Okay. Uh, 18. Oh, I see it, yeah. Yeah, 18 something or other is uh, four, um, you know, six, I imagine six or seven is. inch um, yeah. cannons. Cannon over there, yeah, they were disappearing ones that they'd come up. They were down in a pit and they'd come up like that and they had a, um, you know, um, a, a, they'd come up like that and when they fired the recoil would push them down. Oh, okay. So they were disappearing guns and they could oh. and put them up again. But that was for the Russian skier. Oh, yeah. 18, I can't remember exactly the year, but it was 18 something. And they bought a couple of um, Thornycroft uh, English steam torpedo boats. Hmm. And the remains of one of those is oh, around in a, a, a little museum or thing. Um, they're from like a Seattle company. Yep. Kind of right down by where Marco's at. Um, uh, oh, yeah, well, there probably are Marco's here, but. Yeah. So there's four container cranes there. Oh, wow. That's a huge um, port.
they only do um, three hot. Oh, okay. So yeah, that height from about 86, 87. Order and it's done in an order to where the ship's going. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because you, when they, you, they, no, yeah. no point in having to. There'll be a straddle. Well, there's a straddle sitting down further. He's probably got one on, and he'll come under the crane and he'll load, he'll bump that one. So what they're doing. We found this van that's spray painted with a bunch of graffiti. Bits or anything like that, but my caravan, I've got to have a code of compliance on it. Yeah. And it's got to have, you know. And um, there's still uh, living in this. Yeah, and they're living out of the back of it. And, I mean, there's no freaking dunnies around here. To, yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, wh what are they doing? Where are they going? Yeah. So, that's an example of a freedom camper, huh? Yep. Uh, that's funny. Yep, and uh, you know they've got a bed in there. And what are they doing down here anyway? What is there to do here well, other than stay just the night. hang out and like? They'll just stay the night. They'll move on somewhere else when they're ready, and that'll be that. They'll, they'll go and check. You know, cruise on out and park up. There's another one out at Allendale. There's, there's areas that they yeah. they tend to congregate in. But yeah, they sh you know they got all their out. buddy cooking and you know gear and stuff. I mean. I like the idea of it, of you know, being free and easy and all that sort of stuff. And we're, I guess, we're a bit like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, at the, at the end of the day, it's um, he's an old hippie. You should go and have a talk to him. He's probably a, one of your ilk. Yeah, he's the he's the one that owns yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's probably um, in a man. Yeah, but yeah, they're the ones that just friggin' <laughs> yeah, shed everyone's teeth on edge. That's crazy. And generally they are, you know, like... Well, yeah, I mean, like, if you have thousands of people coming through that are just kind of freeloading and being, like... Yep. Vagrants like that and not, like, and trashing the place and... Well, you know, you know defecating it's... Defecating the woods. For that interaction with me, if I'm an asshole to them, every single other American for the rest of their lives, they're going to treat like... Mm. You know? And, like, you know, actually, it's what you're doing is really important. Mm. I have a place home or... Oh, yeah, sure. Whatever you go. <laughs> Whatever you go. <laughs> First time in a sidecar? First time in a sidecar. <laughs> First time putting on a motorcycle helmet also apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be thrown from the crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be quick. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be quick. <laughs> I come back and my top half is separate from my bottom half. Tell my wife I love her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go with you. <laughs> Hunter down the road here in Christchurch.
<laughs> yes! That was so cool! Oh my god, I gotta get one of these! <laughs> Thank you so much, Josh. No worries. Oh, goodness. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, first time in this. Oh man! All right. All right, let me get in it. You down? <laughs> okay. It's on, buddy. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. All that right. has some get up and go. Are you recording? Are you recording? We're doing 100 k going down that. Was it? <laughs> Loping along, it'll do a bit more than that. Loping along, I'm sure. That is super cool. You have a lot of control with that. You've done a lot of riding, apparently, obviously, with this. A little bit. Alrighty. Get strapped in, Jason. You were you able to strap this on? Yeah, yeah, you gotta push it up inside the thing. Uh, you want a hand? You get it? Hester, that's now across here and this this is our our lovely organized it's so smart they put these little blips on the side so they used to be able to used to be able to turn up there this is the green cycle lanes but now we've got I don't know a dozen cars stacked up behind us because no one will turn here oh this is the only way you can turn but because there's a blip here too narrow for two cars to go by. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can't. Just have friggin' crazy. Yeah. He probably could have squeezed by, but if you get someone to weave it tentative, you know? Yeah. Oh, this is after the earthquake in 2011. Yeah, February. Hi, Megan. <laughs> no, just There's, there, that would have been a building in there, which you can see just the back wall of it there. Yeah. And most of them have been buddy. Um, These sort of ones are new. Yeah, all, the, all this sort of stuff's new. You know, this would have been all Manchester Street. So this is like downtown, like the heart of downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of, yeah. yeah. You got um, main, main drag. Yeah, you got four blocks. There's four avenues. So that was Morehouse Ave, Rolleston Ave, Bailey Ave, and Fitzgerald Ave. Yeah. And inside of that is the main part of the building. See, that building over there is an old building, and the b buildings either side of it have been taken it's down. Here. Another one here. You see, look here. into the. You can see into the back of buildings now that you wouldn't see before. Yeah. But oh I wow. Mean, you know, I mean, it's. Yeah, it's this, this was wall to wall buildings, and the, the nice old, you know, nineteen thirties, forties style stonework frontage, all oh, that okay. sort of. So it's all car parking now, and it's all. Wilson's car park, and guess who Wilson's are? Friggin' <laughs> Asians. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Who's so that these... guy on the wall over there, the rugby oh, player? Rugby. Oh, yeah, it's, I know he's league player. Yeah, you can see, see into it there, that little bit. You can so see these, there. these are all gone, all these. these yeah, really I know, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what, what was there. Oh. And it's a set of stairs that disappear sort of up. <laughs> Here we go, the church. Here I am in Christchurch. We got the Cathedral Square right here. So they have a little festival going on. And John Robert Godley is here. And they're building a new hotel over there. And they're trying to rebuild this area, but it's taken a while. It's already nine years since the earthquake happened. Now 
we arrived in downtown Christchurch. We're gonna take a look at what's happening here at these small buildings, hopefully the cathedral. This one's all in ruins, so we wanna get around to the t front of it. Well, this is Hungarian, look at that. Transylvanian. Here we have a festival going on, a small one. And here's the front, here's another Longwish cottage. That oh, looks pretty nice. I finally decided after all these years they're going to fix it up somehow. It's going to be pretty bad inside because all the pigeons and everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's a challenge. Yeah. We think it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Another ugly statue. <laughs> but they don't even care. They let the weeds just grow on top of this building. It's gonna get dilapidated pretty soon. Security. Security's if it's not backed up. I think we're good there. Because they haven't closed the flight on us like an hour, well, more like 30 minutes before. <laughs> when they board, we're going to park, I guess. Yeah, they're going to be boarding. We're about 10 minutes until we start boarding. We're going to get through really? security still. Let's go, oh, man. <laughs> okay. Because I was doing the IFR and I was not doing anything to study and eating crap. What's our gate? 21. Here's the checkers. to board the flight to Wellington and there's the Christchurch Airport. It's a really quick flight, just about 45 minutes. They have a chess game here at the airport. They got a cafe there, sit down area, relaxing area with chairs, couches, the boarding gates. This is all the domestic area. They're gonna board the flight in about 30 minutes.
Kevin, but whenever you are seated, keep your seat yeah, up. Yeah, I've got there. Here. Keswick, come to me on the switch. Fly overhead, correct order. You should get some beers with that out the right hand side. And uh, looks fairly clear all the way to Wellington, and a reasonable day there. They've got some northerly breezes, clear skies, 23 degrees. We've had a little bit of a slowdown by air traffic control, but still uh, making really good progress. Touching down 25 past 5, and disembarking shortly after that. Thanks for uh, choosing to fly just uh, today. Yeah, it's having a hard time maintaining the journey. I think I had to probably feel it went too bad. Really? Yeah, dude, he busted. Where'd he go up to? 20,000 feet is at 23,500. He's claiming still. I mean, yeah, but he didn't say that. He said we're cruising at 20,000 feet. Oh, that's a shame. I'm going to be like, you're cruising at 20,000 feet. You seem like you're at 23,500. And in fact, he's 23,500 hovering. He's lost a hundred feet. There, just there, he broke up. What do you think he's going up to? He's going down now. He's at 23.5. Now he's down to 23.0. So technically, he busted just there, right there. Yeah. So like plus or minus, what, 200? Steve Castle, your first officer, Matt Beale, and all of us in the cabin from Christchurch. It's been a pleasure having you on board. Today we'll exit through the forward left-hand door. big as that bird? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty the eagle of nest? It's pretty much the same bird. Or host? Yeah. You think that's how big that real bird was? No, man. <laughs> Those are actually real birds. Look at there's a oh. <laughs> No, exactly. Yeah, I see it now. downtown Wellington. What bus are we on next? The number one bus. Okay. To Johnsonville. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so you still got some daylight. There's the double tree. 
You got us off the bus. We're walking through a quarry. It's a mining quarry. <laughs> this, is not, this is not a footpath. We're in a no trespassing zone in some weird New Zealand rock quarry. We're gonna get eaten by cannibals. Look at the seagulls. They're hovering. They're waiting to feast on our bones. Yeah. Oh god. But the map said to go this way. The map was mean. <laughs> The map told us to get on the bus we got on that was like, oh yeah, wrong bus, sorry. Oh no, that was you. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what happens when I let you navigate? <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just politely waiting. He's like, yeah, I figure you'll drop in soon enough. That must be a good friend. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. You will be irritated. Hey, where are we, Jason? <laughs> where are you now? We're going to our destination. Yeah, where are you now? <laughs> oh, Jesus, criminy. All right. I got a picture of this. Jeez, looks like we weren't supposed to be in there. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Google right. Maps said it was the right direction. Google Maps must be trusted. Uh, where is the artificial intelligence pointing us now? Hello. <laughs> left. Left? What yeah. is it? Left during... Um, oh it's 47. Um, 47, 170. Welcome. <laughs> All right. Here we are near Johnsonville. I was able to meet Mustafa, that's how yeah. I remember you as, yeah. <laughs> back in Mashhad, Iran in 2008, 2008. October. Yeah. Yeah. Long time. Wow, I'm going to compare the video from back then and now. Yeah. <laughs> You're too old, I. You're going to lie inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 12 years ago, so I would be... I would be 22 or 23? Yeah, 22, that's what I remember. No, I'm 30 fucking four. <laughs> <laughs> right? 34 years old. Like, I met your yeah. whole family, your yeah. parents, your brothers and sisters, everything. Yeah. And yeah. your friends. My sister's here actually. Oh, really? Uh, okay. She came here a couple of years ago. Uh, but my brothers and um, parents still back in Mashhad. He's still in Mashhad and yeah. your parents also? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. my parents oh, in Mashhad okay. too. Oh. I, you made a few friends of mine. Yeah, like I did. Like Sohrab two of them. His friends, everyone. Sohrab is in north of Iran now. And like oh, okay. um, Rasht, which is uh, yeah. by the Caspian Sea. And how about the other friends? I, I'm not sure because I haven't <laughs> got in touch with them. Which oh. one? Rasul. You remember the guy that we went for dinner? I think they're still in Mashhad. Oh, really? Okay. Then one of them went to Malaysia to do his PhD. Oh, okay. uh, one of the brother. But yeah. Yeah, I can't remember their names, but that, that kind of rings a bell. Yeah. One of them. You did uh, some Iranian dance. Have you still got those videos? Yeah. Yeah, some, somewhere, some yeah. <laughs> Does he, did he have the that? moves? Was <laughs> yeah. he, he was, he was yeah. uh, definitely trying. Yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> yeah. 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 It was I good. You took me that. to some restaurants near Mashhad, and I yeah. I spent like three days there, I think. Yeah. You stayed with us, I think, three, three nights. Yeah, about three nights. Yeah. I went there. And from then you went to Tehran. Back to Tehran. You yeah. dropped me off at the bus station, yeah. and then I took that. It was like yeah. a long bus. I think, yeah. I think it was, oh no, it was a train there and a bus yeah. back. Did you go yeah. through Turkey? Or was it the same train we took? Uh, or bus yeah, we took? same one. Was the Orient Express working back then? I don't know. Uh, they had like, there was but a I, train that went across from Istanbul. All yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, still, I think still running. Um, okay. The train going from, I think, Tehran to Istanbul. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not sure if you took that train or not. No. Yeah. Uh, it was just one of the trains. Yeah. I'm not sure. Nice. Yeah. I messaged my dad and he's like, oh, be very careful. You should leave as soon as possible. Yeah. And then I said, what if anything bad happens? And you said, oh, don't worry. We'll keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I remember yeah. you were explaining everything yeah. to me, so then I felt better. Yeah. <laughs> Did we go to the um, shrine kind of... Uh, oh yeah, we went that, to that, that main that shrine that's, that's really important there. to visit. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that, was a, that was a, I would say... You uh, gave me a good tour. Yeah. <laughs> So. Yeah, a long time ago, All 2008. Right. Yeah, 2008. I'm yeah. still at it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so where would we go done, now? Actually. We could go to Johnson Wall, which is a kind of a okay. smallish suburb of yeah, Wellington. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. And yeah. tomorrow you guys uh, heading to yeah. well, CBD Tim. to see Tepapa, which yeah. is... Uh, yeah. Tepapa, and then the museum for you. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Tepapa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're in the car now. So, what is Johnsonville? 
in relationship to Wellington? Uh, so Johnson is like a smallish suburb, uh, which is like t maybe five to ten kilometers out of Wellington. How many people do you think live here? Uh, I think around probably hundred thousands people would live here because if you head um, kind of north, okay. uh, you've got a hot uh, Parirua as well, which is a, even a bigger suburb mm. than uh, Johnson Uh Because there's not much land in Wellington, ah. you kind of uh, lock with the sea on the other side, and then uh, and it's quite hilly, so there aren't many land. So a lot of people living out of Wellington and working in CBD or Wellington oh, I see. so they just, so, they'll just commute yeah and yeah. I have to say uh, the accommodations or the price of houses are quite high here mm. again because of I mean, less land or a lot of people moved out from Auckland to Wellington and especially after the Christchurch um, yeah, the earthquake <laughs> a lot of uh, people from Christchurch moved to Wellington oh, I see. So, as you know it's a capital uh, city of New Zealand so lots of governmental job yeah, the transportation the like system always, in New Zealand, everywhere. especially in Wellington, is not it's not very great. I don't know if because maybe because it's very earthquake kind of prone type uh, country, so they don't really make a lot of invest on train or subways. Oh. So mainly public transports are mainly um, buses. That was a big wave of Yeah. Uh, What are we having for dinner today? I'm having a, my first lamb in New Zealand, actually, <laughs> from Peter <Pita. laughs> Yeah, as soon as you saw lamb, you're like, I gotta order that. I've been trying to have lamb the entire time I've been here, but I have a little thing. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it probably is, comes from New Zealand, huh? I don't know if it does or not. But it's not an authentic, I guess. Yeah, it's, I, this is not what I would consider my first lamb experience in New Zealand, but it is lamb. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Hunter. Yes. How do you like the place we're staying at? I do. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> it's brand new, huh? It is. It's like very brand new. It's stupid. It's like, it's like totally... Like last year? Like, yeah, like maybe earlier this mm. year, which would be like 10 days ago. <laughs> <laughs> no. But like, yeah, like late last year. But uh -huh. yeah, it's really like a couple months old. It's a really cool spot. I mean, you can't really see out here at the moment, but... But tomorrow morning. Up tomorrow morning, <laughs> and I'll explain it now. So you can use the audio and dub it over tomorrow morning and say, See the beautiful sea beyond <laughs> and the gravel pit below. Can you give us the grand tour? The grand tour. And welcome to our humble, humble abode. Here we have on the right, Hunty's tiny little child bed. Here we have on the right, <laughs> Jason's quite a bit larger child bed. There's a flower that separates the two, and I'm not... You know, <laughs> I'm not going to get weirded out by the fact that I'm at the foot of your bed like some sort of stray dog. <sighs> anyway, it's a really cool place, and it's three stories, and it's like really narrow, but it's French in that respect. Yeah. It's a very new age type of architecture, and it looks really cool.